Hello, mayors. Welcome back to Build It With Smith. It's your host, Smith, here uh, in my main city today. Going to be doing some... Uh, going to be doing some sort of maintenance. As you see, Christmas is over now. Hopefully it is where you're at. Uh, and we gotta, you know, clean up our Christmas decor. Um, if you haven't watched my video where I kind of announce what's going to be going on with my channel and everything uh, for this year and hopefully going forward, uh, we're going to be doing two to three. We'll try to make it three, but I'm real hesitant to say three. But in a perfect world, we would have three episodes a week preferably like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. And since I have three cities unlocked, we will be going to each city, each episode, and working on them a little bit. And so, as you can see, we got a ways to go on some of these, but that's kind of the whole idea. There's a lot of things that go on in the game, and you just can't keep up. If you're like me, you just can't keep up. We've got contests of mayors, we've got wars we've got whatever's probably going to happen with these other islands and it's hard to even keep up with the chat by the way shouts out to you if you're in the build it with smith official uh mayor's club but let's get started so anyway um i want to do some cleanup here this was a nice this was a nice festival the folks really enjoyed it but now it is time to make room for something else and let's get rid of this one lone Christmas tree we had. All right, so fortunately we were able to bring some nice festivities to the town. And like I said, the folks enjoyed it. Um, now, I'm just going to get rid of all the parts that I want to move. Not just all of the parts, but all the ones that I want to move. Uh, let's see. These right here, we don't know what we're going to do with this side. We're going to be pretty much focusing on, let's see, that's, that's good enough for the parts, I think. This is going to be a long process, if you guys haven't, uh, you didn't come up with that on your own. So anyway, let's just look at the structure of the city. And actually, let me flip into my, oh, no music, turn the music on, buddy. All right, let's flip into my, and it's getting dark. All right, here's what I wanted. When my city's all said and done, I want to have a main avenue like this one here, stretching all the way, all the way, and more. And we don't have that much room left, actually. Can you see where the, it's dark, you can't, oh. Well, so we're in the photo mode. You can't really see the grid lines, but we don't have that far to go it's it's actually not as far as what it looks like on here if you can see the grid lines but anyway this is going to be my main road we will have to dedicate it and everything else then you have your center right here and see this is almost in the center now I think for this back portion here we're gonna change it up it's gonna be probably have another you know it may be for things like this that may be what we put there factories stuff like that over there uh, some of the landscape items that we got for kind of a country type of deal in the country. We may even play with those, uh, those uh, Wild West um, buildings that we got at one time. Uh, because I just don't know what to do with those. But maybe that would be a perfect answer. So anyway, as you can see, right here at the center, I also have another road right here that is going to go through and so that's all we know for now so let's get started without further ado now that I have gave you all that long intro let's get started with what we want to do here now I do want to have this kind of going on here we can sit fit hopefully fit four buildings in each one of these squares okay so that'll get us 12 here and we have by the way uh, proper coverage on this area and as you can see this is what we're going to be covering with these first few episodes we're going to stop it 
right where the red starts, okay? And that's what we're gonna do there. Now, the other thing is, here later on sometime, I'll figure out if I wanna keep these where they're at. You know what I mean? May not want to do that. Uh, definitely don't want it taking up, taking up room from uh, other things we have going on. All right, so let's see. It sort of makes sense that that connects there, and with that, you can actually delete some stuff. Try to figure out what we're gonna do with that that little piece there. So, so let's see. I like to lay out the road structure first a little bit, but I think a smarter thing to do would actually be to see what we can upgrade. Maybe not. You see, I got a lot of stuff here that could possibly get upgraded, but maybe that's not what we'll do here for this episode. We'll just see how long it gets. By the way, I'm trying to keep these not too long so you can, whether you're busy or not that all busy, you know, you can watch them without taking up too much time of your day. Uh, you know, so probably like less than 30 minutes. Maybe around 20, 30 minutes is what we want to try to do here. We're already six minutes, almost 30 seconds into the video. So let's get going. All right, so, uh, hmm, well, for some reason, all right, so we need more space this way. Uh, so let's see, what can we do with this? Well, the problem is this road has to stay constant. Got to keep that. So if we need to, we may have to shorten, we may have to shorten things up and go back to the way that the road was at first. Which would mean we just deleted all that for nothing. Let's see. You guys get what I'm trying to do here? Uh, I have certain roads that I want to remain constant. I just showed you a few minutes ago this one. So we couldn't move this one in order to accommodate for shrinking this. So we're just going to have to do something else. I mean, there's not even necessarily going to be buildings here. You know, as a matter of fact, I think these buildings can go back over here until we decide what we're doing. We'll just put them over there. Actually, I see that there are some unneeded trees here now. So just clean those up and go ahead and put these buildings so that they can start to get residences back in them. Before someone comments on my video, the obvious thing of, Smith, you're losing population, you know. People always comment that and I'm like, well, yeah, because my buildings are getting restructured now. You got to make some sacrifices. You want to be great. All right, so this is obviously not the way that it's going to remain. We're also not going to keep whatever this is. I think that had a purpose with the last laid out layout I was doing. By the way, you can go back and watch uh, the episodes. Actually, they were live streams. They're about hour and a half long live streams, I believe. You can watch those in your spare time and see uh, me, de you know, come up with this design here for this particular city. All right. I did want, however, let's, let's just move these over here. They're kind of flooding our uh, growth. All right, so obviously we got a back street here. And I don't know, play with some other things here. Could have made this like this. So that there are two, two roads. Does that make sense? Could have done that. Could have done that. And right now I don't know which one I'm going to do. I think though, let me know what you think. Because it wouldn't be such a bad deal if I did that. Let me tell you why. Because... I kind of like the look of these two roads. See how this one comes out? Let me show you with this. In the road view. How this one comes out that far. 
right? And then this one only steps out that far. I think that symmetrically, you don't want to be too symmetric because real cities aren't like that. They're kind of, you know, they don't really, they just kind of roll with the punches of the ter terrain that you're working with. So we don't want this to look like a cookie cutter, should I say, type of city. So right here, we may actually have, uh, you know, a little more, a little more, a little more space out there. Now, we could, though, keep this road just like this, keep that back street just like that, and do it just like this. Now, if that were to happen, um, let's see, what could we, let me see, what, I figured that there needs to be something in the center here. Do you guys agree? I think you agree. Let's, let's just uh, look at something here. We have a park that has been longing for a home, a permanent home, for quite some time. And it's just never quite gotten there. So, if I, let's say, instead of on, well, this is where it gets tricky. All right, so there would be one building there. Um, does it really need to be? Um, hmm. All right, let's just say that we do that. Actually, let's, it's really complex here, guys, with, uh, with what we're doing. Really complex. All right, we're going to see how we can fit this guy in here this time. I'd like to just move him. Thank you. And we're going to play with some roads a little bit here. Uh, this one, it actually looks good where it was at. I'm trying to see if there is room to make this road stretch out to here. fit another building in there that's right we're putting this road back guys uh, now what's the problem oh I see what the problem is okay um hmm. okay huh why did I think that would work all right um I don't know I guess my eyes were kind of playing tricks on me. So the only way that I could fit in a row of two buildings here would be if I created the road like that. And that may actually work. Although what I'd have to do, and let's see if I even like the way that this looks, because I may not. They can put a park right there, actually. It doesn't have to be a road going all the way through. So, if I put this park, and this, again, this maybe we didn't find a home for this park. Alright, so, you got that right there. I kind of feel like, though, I might need to put it there. Let's just see. Let's just see. Then you could fit. I'm sure I got some more of these buildings. I thought I did. Just to kind of compare. One right there. Here's the other thing. How many of these buildings can I fit here? Not, not enough. All right. So doesn't doesn't look like it's coming together, guys. Like we thought. Um. I guess I was going to try to put to put two rows of buildings since we had these two roads here. We had these two roads here. I was going to try to fit two rows of buildings in there. But uh looks like we're running Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> looks like we're kind of running into some problems with doing that. So So, 
I don't think it's gonna work. Guess there should be some more roads or something like that to make it a little more symmetrical. All right, so we have this. We can move all these. I don't know if there even be enough. Actually, I don't even know why I'm moving these. It's not necessary at this point, but I'm just doing it. Alright, so there they are, and we still got some left over. So again, I don't know why I did that. Alright, so like we said, we've kind of got into a place where some of these roads have to stay. Now, the only thing that we could do, if in fact we wanted to um, make this work, and let's see, let's see how much coverage we got. So, all right, look at this, guys. Even if we put this other building here, you gotta look at these things. It wouldn't even catch our population. So, we are going to do a row of one. And, furthermore, we will be deleting this road and moving this part back to its original position. And then I think, I think, oh, because then you could fit kinda to over there. All right, this is a, uh, we're struggling with this. All right, I know that within there so let's see about moving this down I think this is our final I think we finally came up with a solution here guys hold on I can see it and then finally we will delete this road and we're just gonna have to move this in to right there so that creates a little bit more space than what we were going for but all right okay so this may be the same as when we started but i like the way now that it looks let's see how many more and i don't know if i maybe i want this to be my oh here's another problem well that's fine that's fine we'll uh put a park there or something like that put a park there you can't can't please everybody i think I think there was one. I thought there was one over here somewhere. Although I don't see it now. Oh, here it is over here. All right, so this uh, this pretty much works. That's just enough buildings for what we were trying to do. Um, yeah, yeah. Only thing I was thinking, to be honest with you guys, uh, let's see. Oh, I need that road there. Yeah, I need that road there. Okay. So here we go. Here is just from this road, this road, in between here, all the way through here. I think this is going to be permanent now. Now, let's look at, uh, all the new things that we brought in there so we got a main street coming on this way we're gonna plug a park in here for this stuff no need to put a road through there it's just gonna be a park and there you go so just for this side of it I think it looks pretty good so let's uh Let's do some, let's upgrade our roads. I feel pretty confident in this now. Confident at least to take it up one upgrade level. I should have, this doesn't need to be a very busy street. I should have kept this, I think. I should have kept that with just a one lane road. Let me see, is that one lane road there? Uh, maybe two, maybe Maybe, let's see. Let's just see. I know I'm wasting money here, but I'm a big person with uh, things making sense. 
you know, I don't think there's going to be that much traffic going right along there. That's just me. But anyway, let's continue to upgrade. Continue to see the city kind of start to fall together. Okay, let's see. So there's that. And over here. We're going to leave that that way. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. I wonder, I should probably though, this is gonna be a, a main street here, so. Maybe we'll just like that. Yeah, just like that. Because people coming up in here in this neighborhood there shouldn't be, it, it should be, and maybe there'll be a problem with traffic later. Let's see if there's a problem now. There's not right now, and that's pretty much all the houses we're going to have in there. And let's go ahead and see what kind of parts we have to decorate with. Reflecting pools are always nice. Or we could go with like a sculpture park or something. Let's see. Urban Plaza, maybe. Yeah, that might be good for the folks over there. Then we had a space over here. That's going to be good for the sculpture park, I think. Oh, and give you a little population boost there. All right. So there you go. Now, these buildings aren't permanent. I think I'm going to go with uh, more smaller buildings over here. And we can do that sort of stuff later. But yeah, so right now... This is the way it's pretty much going to look. Somewhat like this. So I think we're just going to maybe put some trees or something over here. I don't know if there's going to be a need for buildings, to be honest with you. It may just be some trees. Let's, let's just go ahead and try that. And, uh, and then we'll get into seeing if we got anything we could upgrade. Because that's always exciting to see, I think. Right, landscape and trees. What kind of forest? How many? Hmm. It appears we'd have to buy more. Let's just see though. Get you close. Six more, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe that's enough. Just to see how this looks. Looks like we're gonna be short one. Hopefully that doesn't cost keys. Sim cash. I guess we could spend that. All right. Oh, it's dark, and you can't really see how that looks. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to see it here in a little bit, but I think it's probably something to consider. Get some greenery in our town. And once we get rid of some of these big bulky buildings in here, no thanks, then we'll be able to even see it even clearer. All right, so that's that. Now let's see if there's anything we can upgrade here. Let's just go ahead and collect everything we have. See if that leads us to any upgrades anywhere. Anywhere? Anyone? No? Ah! There's one. Oh, and this is actually a Japanese uh, sort of deal here. Let's see. Look and make sure we're in the right zone. Okay, so that's going to get a luxury home upgrade. The next upgrade will result in that, which is what we want. And, you know, I actually like these style buildings, like this same size. And they're, so I'm thinking that somewhere along these lines, I'm going to use those buildings because I think they look pretty cool. All right. So that is that our only upgrade for today. I figure there should be more. Let's see. Let's just go over quickly. Look and make sure there's not one with just maybe one or two items that we could just go grab 
And they're already asking for coconuts. All right. Yeah. So it appears that this is going to be... Where are we at? In our city. Kind of confused. 58 minutes on an epic project. That's going to move over to... We're going to still keep the beach stuff over here. Oh, it's ready. Oh, thank you. Where are we at? Right here. All right, so that's not too bad. It's not that much taller. But... It's about the same size as the building across the street, so that's pretty good. All right, I actually like these style buildings. Yes, I like them. The Tokyo Town buildings. I believe I call them Asian. I mean, I call them uh, Japanese, which is not their name. So, anyway, that has been it. It looks like we made a little progress in this little area of town so we're grateful for that and we can see how our trees look now they look okay i kind of don't like how they just stop right where they stop but it's, it's okay and this will look a lot better when we rearrange our buildings and we'll have a lot of buildings there so so anyway i think that looks pretty cool all right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in on this episode one of our new series. Like I said earlier, we'll be going through each of my three unlocked regions. And this being my main reason, thanks for uh, checking in. And I hope uh, you guys come back for the next episode, uh, which should be released on Wednesday, uh, hopefully. So, check you guys out next time. Peace out.